Hi, this is Adam from Ads Productions and this is the review of the Nexus Edge PC case. You'll notice if you watch my unboxing video of this case that two, ca that two keys came with it. These silver keys let you open the side panel. These black keys let you open the side panel. Sorry, the those silver keys there let you open the front panel, and those black keys let you open the side panel. Right, let's go ahead and get the front panel open. So you just turn the key, and the front panel slides open. As you can see, loads of drive bays on this. Insane amount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 of them, including that one. This is a little one for like fan controllers and things like that. Just because, you know, everyone wants a fan controller nowadays. Literally, to lock it, close it back up, turn it, pull the key out. The front panel's locked. Done. Let's take a look at some of the ports on the front. We have a power button right here. Then we have a reset button, and we have a power LED and a hard drive activity LED, and we have what seems to be a microphone jack and a headphone jack. We have two USB ports and a SATA port. As you can most likely see behind this griddle at the top, we have a 14 centimeter exhaust fan that comes pre-installed with this case. Just a quick point: that 14 centimeter exhaust fan on the top is made by Nexus, the company that made this case. Now I'm going to open this side panel. Just bear in mind that I already have taken off the two thumb screws found on the side. These are thumb screws, or you can choose to screw them up yourself with a screwdriver. Alright, let's go ahead and open the side panel. As you can see, the black key is already inside. So literally turn it, take the key out, put it to the side, and lift off the door. Now the first thing I've noticed is that each side panel well, no, actually, this only the side panel, one side panel, has soundproofing, which makes for an excellently quiet case. As you can see, soundproofing. You've got the locking me mechanism there. Let's go ahead and show you what's inside this case. Sorry, just correct what I just said there. As you can see, the back has also got soundproofing. This means this case should be, when all the components are installed, when you get it home, should be really really quiet as you can see there one thing I did miss out in the unboxing is let's get this open user's manual, a cable organiser, various screws there, a speaker connector, and motherboard mounting screws and other screws. The two things that I'm sure you saw me drop on the floor are the hard drive mounting um, pieces, I guess. Yeah. So that's what's in that little small white box there. Here we have the rooms for the optical drives and fan controller if you want. We have various little cables here. We have sound cables for the headphone jack on the front and the speaker jack, of course. No, I mean the microphone jack, of course. And then we have more audio cables. We have power adapters, as you can see there. And then we have power switch cables, reset switch cables, power LED cables, and hard drive LED cables. These just plug into your motherboard. You all know how to do that, so I'm not going to explain it. Here you can see, here's some more that plugs into the fan socket onto your uh, motherboard. 
here. Basically, bits of uh, it's the power connectors for the fan, as you can see. I'll bring the camera forward and show you the fan I was just talking about. As you can see, that fan there, that is a 14 centimeter rear exhaust fan. And move the camera up slightly. We have four holes for the uh, water cooling tubes to pass through. And up here, we have an optional fan to be installed here, well, a room for opt uh, an optional fan to be installed here. Strangely though, this is not a 14 centimeter kind of template. This is a 12 centimeter template. Bear that in mind because some people may be thinking that fan down there is 14 centimeters, so I'll just stick another one here. No, you can't. This is a 12 centimeter fan. What does impress me about this case though is, as you can see, these little holes here. They're basically for cable management. Under here are spaces for for your hard drives, as well as just there. I'll show you now. As well as just there, so you can go ahead and put two hard drives here. Connect the SATA cable through that hole into the hard drives, and it really just makes the case look tidy. You might be wondering what those are. They're they're like fan filters. Here you have the option to put a either a 14 centimeter or 12 centimeter fan, and the same goes for here. I suppose this is just for cooling for the hard drives that you can mount right there. But apart from that, guys, the uh, you want to know how, what this is. You have like motherboard mounting uh, holes, so you can just put the mounting screws in. It just looks like a standard uh, case, I guess. We have a little uh, detail on the back. I'm just going to zoom in on that. camera out. There we go, as you can see it says, I'll just let you read because there's no point in me reading because you can read yourself. Go ahead, I'm going to do this like in all my videos. Go ahead and pause the video now if you want to read this. If not, let's carry on. Now let's take a look at the back of the case. We have the 12 centimeter rear exhaust fan template, we have the IO shield plate, and we have the PCI Express ports here where you can just, just plug your monitor cables in and any other PCI cards you've got. You have the 14 centimeter rear exhaust fan. If I said 12 millimeter, I meant 12 centimeter there. This is the 14 centimeter rear exhaust fan. Here are the four holes for water cooling tubes. And here is the power supply. Well, here's the place where you, here's the place where you put the power supply. So yeah, that's the back of the uh, case. And now I've tipped the case on its side. I'm now gonna show you just how easy it is to fold out and fold back in the feet. First they've got rubber soles on the front and you can if you want to remove them and replace them with your own feet. Right, literally you just pull them and lift the, lift the case up and there you have it. It's really that simple. Want to take your computer somewhere, fold them back in, he says. There we go. Behind the grills at the front there is a 14 centimeter intake fan. And as usual with these reviews, I'm going to go over the positives and negatives. The first positive would be the great lock design it has. Secondly, I'm really impressed with this soundproofing on the case. Sadly, there are a few negatives I'd like to point out about this case. The first thing would be this plasticky sort of handle for the lock. It just feels really flimsy in that it could break. Also, I'm not too impressed about these power buttons and reset buttons. It doesn't really feel like you're actually turning the PC on when you press it. It just feels a bit, I don't know, cheap. Overall, I am really impressed with this case. It keeps things very quiet with its soundproofing. So if you're looking for a case that keeps things very quiet, then definitely go for this one.